Hello, I'm Paul Pluto and welcome to the Paul Pluto channel. And today I've got a very interesting question. Adrian has come in, he sent me 21 US dollars and he says, <clears throat> Christopher Ward review. What do I think of Christopher Ward? And I gotta tell you, this is a very interesting, interesting question to throw at me. And, you know, it's, it's, um, I gotta be completely honest with you there. It's, uh, it's not a brand I would buy a watch in. They are an interesting brand. I mean, they're an affordable brand. They were a brand that were originally, I think they were marketed on the internet exclusively. They, you know, they tried to do some cool things. But I'm afraid to tell you this. I really think it was marketing fluff. Okay, I really think it was marketing fluff. There is really very little substance to it. Three guys, they're just trying to put together a watch brand. I mean, fuck me dead. Every cunt and his dog is trying to put out a fucking watch brand. And you really got to say to yourself, what horological significance do they have there? And... It's it's really lacking. It is it is lacking, and um, you know I I I really think I really think the thing about horology is is that you've got to pick a brand, which is it says something about you. And I want a brand that says something more than that. We were three bored rich Brits who wanted to flog cheap watches to the world. I want a brand which is respected. I want, personally, I want a Swiss brand. Swiss, Swiss brand, maybe a Lange, a German brand, but for the most part, Swiss are the fuckers who made the, the cool watches. I want a mechanical watch. I want a fucking expensive watch. What's the point in, you know, lusting after a, Voxel Cavalier. You gotta lust after a Bentley. What's the point in lusting after a Volkswagen Golf? You lust after an S Class Mercedes. And this is the whole thing. When you're talking about watches, yes, there are a lot of brands out there which, you know, they really just scraping at shit. And Christopher Ward, you know, I, I look at this brand here. You're asking the question. I don't see the substance, okay? Personally, for me, you want a quality wristwatch. You want to go for something which has had a name there. Rolex is so great. It's waterproof. It's so many accolades. You want a Patek Philippe. It's, it's high-end watchmaking. It's cool. Vacheron, Audemars, ditto, ditto, ditto. Che Guevara. You say, well, that Reverso was so cool. Kings and queens have worn Reversos. You know, they're just so fucking cool. Christopher Ward. It's a bit like having acne. It was never in. Okay, it was never in. It's always been a bit of a shitter of. A brand in my opinion it's for poor people to buy when they can't afford a decent luxury wristwatch I don't know how I can put this I don't know how I can put this or how I should put this Christopher Ward itself it's a fucking shitters brand it's shitters okay it's shitters they're shit you want iconic watches that have changed the world and what does Christopher Ward really do there beside another brand who puts a fucking ETA movement into a case? How many more of these fuckers do we need? How many more ETA movements in cases do we really need there? And I mean, I know they got a slick website. Slick, fast, but I mean, they, they, they contract this out to to third world shitholes, really. I mean, most what most of these lower end makers, where do you think the work is done? 
by a craftsman in London on a bench? I don't fucking think so. These are shitters put together in a sweatshop in China. Okay, they got some Swiss, Swiss input. I mean, the whole watch industry is so full of shit. It's not funny. And uh, Christopher Ward, what do I think? I think they're absolute, you know, they're just pretenders. There's not much substance there. It's lacking in real girth. There is not a lot there. It's lacking. I kind of think it's, um, it leaves a lot to be desired. And, um, what can you really say? They're just shitters. Absolute shitters. Why is this so? Well, that's, that's the way it goes there. It's, um, this market, we all want affordable shit. You got POMs. The economy's fucked. These cunters have left the Brexit now. Their economy's gonna be fucked. Really, really fucked us. Fucked us, complete us. And, uh, these punters, these spiffs, these are, these are, these are Easter, Easter London governors. The East London spivs who want a gold plated piece of shit to, to get some fat and crump it. I mean, come on. Fucking play, work with me, guys. Work with me, not against me. Work with me, fuckers, not against me. These are spibs. Christopher Ward itself there. Is it a decent brand? I don't fucking think so. Is a Vauxhall Cavalier a sports car? I don't fucking think so. It's nasty shit for nasty fuckers who don't have a lot of fucking coin to wear. That's what it is. It's for poor cunts. Cunts who don't have enough coin. There's no fucking coin. They're short of coin. Is it a brand I, w I wouldn't be caught dead wearing a Christopher Ward? Why the fuck would I wear one of those pieces of shit unless those cunts were giving me money? Unless those cunts were giving me money or freebies, I'd wear my Reverso. So cool. I'm Paul Pluto from the Paul Pluto channel. Tell me what you fuckers, fuckers think of that.